pregnancy tests and you know hoping to see that double negative sign and it hasn't happened. <laughs> our channel today you guys we hope you're all doing well and having a good day we got the whole fam here we got the whole family here we are sitting on our couch Jared was trying to tell me we needed a more interesting background and we had everything situated here and I said like, this is where we have our serious talks with yeah, everyone and the couch is more comfortable let's be real this is when we have serious stuff to talk about this is where we sit <laughs> this is the serious spot right here. This is the serious spot. <laughs> and you guys, to be perfectly honest, I mean by the title of this video, you already know what this is going to be about. And maybe we should start off with just saying how we want to be open and real with you guys. I mean, so many of you follow our family every day. You let us into your homes every day. Yeah. We share a lot of our lives. There's obviously parts of our life we don't share as well. And this is one of those ones that we've debated about sharing for yeah. sure. For a little while now. For a long time. And yeah. another thing we want to say just real quick is that we love all the sweet comments that some of you guys leave asking us about our journey with having kids and the whole journey in and of itself. Yes. I mean, we announced what? last january that we officially wanted to try and start our family and that was a while ago yeah that was a while ago gosh how am i already getting emotional <laughs> this is early into it anyways and it's no secret you guys like obviously it's been a year since that time and no baby it's a very emotional journey i feel like a lot of you guys are either watching this video because maybe you're going through something like this currently or i'm sure everyone knows of people that have gone through infertility or maybe you've gone through it in the past as well and you can yeah. relate with us so i think there's a lot more people out there that experience it and it's kind of getting more and more real real yeah people are yeah. talking about it more and that's honestly one of the big reasons why we felt we should share this is so that others that are going through it know that they're not alone yeah and that it's normal like it's it's common because one thing for sure is that we never would have guessed ever that this would have been our journey yeah i know like within our families and everything like babies just seem to be popping up and yeah. we'll get to that in a little bit because i get so many questions all the time about that but you guys we do realize that everyone's journey looks very different when it comes to starting a family and the thing we just keep telling ourselves when you know we're going through hard times or trials is really it's all in god's timing mm -hmm. and it just hasn't been our time yet Yep. And it may take a while to get there, depending on how some things go. And also, you know, maybe there's other ways to have a family as well. We totally get that could be an option too. So we are just in the beginning of this. So maybe we should rewind back to a year ago. We've obviously tried to start a family. And you know, 2020 was a crazy year. Like there was a lot going on. <laughs> and so, you know, after a few months, we were like, oh, you know, Maybe this is totally normal. We did some research. Mm -hmm. We found out it actually takes the average couple like nine months to conceive. Yeah. And you know, I talked to my doctor. I went and got checked before we started to try to make sure everything's good. You guys remember, you know, that CF runs on my side of the family. So we went and got checked for that to mm -hmm. make sure, you know, we were all good there. We were. Yeah. And so we definitely like wanted to plan and make sure we were good. And so we did. We got the green light. Go ahead. Everything looked great. And it just hasn't happened yet. And You've been taking your vitamins. Yes, I've been taking prenatals and lots of vitamins. I've been trying to be pretty healthy for the most part. She's been pretty active, staying yes, fit. I work out every day. I've been trying to get my body healthy in case like that's some of the reasoning, but it still has not happened. And so I went to the doctor right before we moved out to Florida, actually, just to get another test and he said you know everything looked great one thing he wanted me to note was ovulating like that was a big thing because i was using an app 
because I was told there's lots of apps out there you can use to track when you're ovulating because obviously in those windows you have a greater chance of getting pregnant so I was using this app to track that and it was really interesting but he told me that a lot of the times those apps are off and we were using that for the last almost year yeah to try yeah, we were and he was like I really think that could be one of the issues so since then I've been using ovulation strips to try that but Anyways, there's just some been some other things that have gone into it. So as you guys remember, I talked about it in a vlog about a week or so ago. Since coming out to Florida, I found a new OBGYN and I met with her, it was great. And so I'm gonna be going and doing some tests. Actually, this Thursday is my first one that they're gonna be running some tests on some different levels of things, checking out some of my different hormones and things like that. And a big thing is trying to narrow in on ovulation. And so hopefully maybe if someone out there has been struggling and you haven't, you've been using an app or something like that. No, they're not always accurate because I so wish someone would have told me that earlier. Mm -hmm. I should have maybe done more research on it. And to be honest, like I think through this past year, yes, it's been on our minds, but just with everything going on with moving and our house stuff and everything, like it's just, we haven't put as enough focus on it as that we should have mm -hmm. and like research. So. We're not like saying we're ready to do IVF or any of that. No, we're, not yet. And I still have to get checked, you know. Yeah, so we're figuring out, needed. we're starting out yeah. kind of at square one to figure out, okay, where do we need to go from here? This new doctor I met with, she seems amazing. So we're really, really hopeful, which is exciting. And mm -hmm. so we'll see where it goes. As we said, you know, we just really believe that it's going to be, you know, timing and in God's plan. But it hasn't happened yet, and that part is a little frustrating. It can be definitely frustrating, especially when like those around you can be having babies, and it's just kind of like, oh man, I feel like we've been trying for so long. I know, as you guys know, so many, especially like my siblings recently have had babies, and I get we get messages all the time, you guys, saying like, when is it your turn? Don't you guys want kids? And obviously... Yes, yes we do want kids. And I do want to say real quick, we are extremely happy for her siblings. Yes, yeah. oh my goodness. I'd be lying if I said, like I didn't have the thought pass through my mind, like, oh man, like when's it gonna be our turn? Like when is it our <laughs> turn? But that does not take away from how excited no, and no, happy no. I am for my siblings and their babies. Like, no, without a doubt, could not oh, be more thrilled and yeah. love those little babies more. You guys know how much we love our nieces and nephews. So no, there's no like jealousy or stuff like that. Not anything that makes us more excited yes. for when it's our turn. And it gives us more practice to love on these <laughs> cute little babies. That's right. <laughs> but you guys, to that degree, like it is hard. Like I can't tell you how many times I've taken pregnancy tests and you know, hoping to see that double negative sign and it hasn't happened. Or you can't tell me how many like clips I've deleted because I don't want Jared to see, you know, that and it is hard because we want that so bad like we feel like we're so ready to be parents and even though we are parents to this little guy right here <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. brings us so much happiness but we really really want that and so i am excited i think we both are to like figure out what's causing this and why it isn't happening for us right now and hopefully you know figure that out so that we can start our family because I think we're both really ready for it and excited for that next step. Sometimes it can be hard to think that way, like I have to keep coming back to that mindset yeah. of timing. Yeah, especially with knowing that it's God's timing. That's just one thing that we are constantly having to remember because you never know when it's going to happen. You don't know when you're going to receive that blessing. And sometimes that blessing may not ever come, but it comes in a different way. And so. Uh -huh. You know, this journey has been tough for us and it's been a long time coming, it feels like. But I know for other couples, sometimes it takes even longer. Oh, years. Yeah. Like, and we totally get that. Like, we are not saying, you yeah. know, yeah. we get a lot of people have yeah. trouble for years. I know people really close to me that have had those struggles for years, yeah. some that couldn't even get pregnant. You know, so we know everyone's path looks very, very yeah, different. Yeah. But we are very much looking forward to our chance and blessing to have a child. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think a big part of this, we wanted to talk to you guys about this as well, because I know we share so many positive things that are going on in our life, but there are hard things too, and that's life, that's normal, and mm -hmm. I hope 
by us like talking about this, that we're going through this hard theme, can hopefully help someone else out there yeah, know totally. that they're not alone and that you know it's something that we're going through. Yeah, we, and we do hope that this helps someone else. Yeah. Or maybe someone else that's been going through can reach out to us. Yeah, I feel like you guys always give us such great advice. I feel like we've learned so much through the YouTube community. You guys are just an extension of our family and this is obviously something big that we're going through and it could you know go on and on for who knows how long and so we don't want to hide it we want to be like open about it we're open with a lot of things in our life and I feel like this is a good thing to be open about because you shouldn't be ashamed or fearful or any of that because you know it happens and it's pretty normal i feel like for a yeah. lot of people so you guys that's kind of where we're at with everything right now this thursday you guys starts you know some of our first tests i get some blood work done and we're praying and crossing our fingers that you know maybe some information will come back from that that will help us fix things or help with it so keep us in your prayers we really really appreciate it that you know we can find out the answers so we can get started on our cute little family because we really, really, really want it. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna be pretty darn good parents too. Yeah, Jared's, I can't wait to see this guy <laughs> as a dad. As you guys know, he's amazing with our nieces and nephews and Finn and we can't wait to add a new addition to with little Finny. It's so funny, <laughs> a lot of you have said, oh, wait till you have kids, like you're gonna totally forget about him, which is not the case. <laughs> he's gonna be our big little older brother, huh? And yeah, he's course. gonna just be protective over our new little baby. <laughs> and you guys know how great of an aunt Brittany is, so you can only imagine how of an amazing mother she's gonna be. Yeah, and, and I'm already a mom to this little guy, yeah. huh? Yeah. We just can't wait for a little human to come along too. <laughs> It's gonna come. Yeah, it's gonna come, you guys. So maybe if anyone out there has experienced this and you have any tips or advice, drop it down below. We'd love to read your comments and hear maybe any of your stories or advice along the way because I feel like there's so many different paths we can take and hopefully after this first round of testing thing, we'll have more answers and we can kind of go from there. But that's kind of a big thing we're going through right now. And so we just wanted to sit down, share that with you, share our thoughts, our feelings, and just be real with you guys because we love you all and we hope you know that and we hope you know that we want a baby as much as so many of you. <laughs> yes. We get messages all the time. All the time. You know, when you're having a baby <laughs> and I know a lot of people can take offense to that, but I know so many of you guys just love us and you're mm -hmm. excited for us. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts because we, you know, as I said, we cannot yeah. wait. <laughs> And I think we're gonna be pretty fun parents yeah, as well. Be fun too. <laughs> so with all of that out there now and the heaviness, obviously we like to be lighthearted and fun around here. I know you guys really enjoyed that portion of our videos as well. So we'll try and obviously keep those <laughs> videos coming. But now you kind of know some of the things that we're going through and yeah, we just love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel every day, coming into our home, letting us be part of your lives. We love you all so much. And if you have to be new to Jared and Britt, welcome to mm. our channel. This isn't our average everyday video, <laughs> kind of a sitting down <laughs> interview like this. It's usually much more upbeat and oh, Florida yeah. and fun in the sun. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And as always, you guys, we love you and we will see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you. Bye. Bye.